If you're designing some sort of PDF in Canva, whether it's an ebook, a workbook, a catalog, or any kind of booklet design where you have quite a number of pages, you probably found in the past that it's quite frustrating having to manually put in page numbers in Canva, having to actually individually put your page numbers in. Well, Canva finally has a page number tool. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to use it so that you can much more easily put page numbers in your designs. All right, let's add page numbers in Canva. So the first thing you need to do is have whatever document you're using that you want to add page numbers to. So here I've got this little planner and I want to add some page numbers to it. So what you need to do is go over to text here and you'll see here dynamic text page numbers. So you want to click on that. Then you're going to choose either numbers only. So for example, you know, just the number one, two, three, four, or you can have page plus number. So it will say page one, page two. Or you can have X of Y, so page one of 10. So depending on what you're trying to do, like for example, if you're doing a carousel, you may want to do something where it has like page one of 10, something like that. Most of the time I'd say you probably just use numbers only, but it's great they have these other options as well. Now the next thing you'll see here, it says show numbers on. So this is where you can actually choose which pages you're actually gonna have the numbers on. So the next thing you'll see here is show numbers on. So this is where you can decide what pages you want to actually have the numbers on. Now you can always go through and delete numbers on certain pages. But for example, we don't want a number here on page one because that's our title page. So we can just unclick that one. Say no, I don't want the numbers on that page. And and if for some reason you wanted to remove them from any other, you can do that. So now we're going to go and find one. So over here, we can see it's got page two here. And then we want to choose our styling. So you can choose what font you want. So I think I'll go with this font. You choose the color of it. So let's say we went with a blue. What size you want it to be, where you want it positioned on the page. Get that first one right. And then if it moves away, just go straight back to text and page numbers, have it selected, and then press apply properties to all pages. So whatever you've done to that first number, it'll apply it to all of them. So we're gonna apply it to all. So now when we scroll down, we'll see this positioning, the font and the color is all applied to all the pages. Now, if we don't want this to be page one, the other thing we can do is come up the top here where it has hide page and just hide. And now you can see the next page will be page one instead. So sometimes you will think, well, I don't want my cover page to be page one. I want the first actual page page to be page one. The way around that is just to hide the page and then that way it will start on the next page. So adding page numbers now is so much easier. Trying to do that manually took so much longer. As you can see, you can automatically be putting all those numbers in, changing all the fonts, colors, and positioning, making it so much quicker and easier to put page numbers on your pages when designing in Canva. So make sure you remember and try out this tool next time you're working on something that requires page numbers so you can speed up that workflow, create those page numbers with much more ease, and feel more confident creating PDFs using Canva. And if if you'd like to learn more about using Canva and about graphic design and creating graphics for your business, make sure you subscribe and happy creating.